guys thank you so much for coming back to my youtube channel um i feel like it's been a little bit of a break and i always say this for making videos but i promise i'm getting back in the swing of it so i got a bunch of stuff from asos um and i kind of wanted to do it a little bit different i know i usually kind of unbox and tell you guys what i think and how it fits me um and i decided this time that i'm actually going to do a try on video so you can get a better idea of what it looks like on um, and I personally just think those are a little bit more fun, so I can't wait to show it to you. Um, okay, so let's start. I will look and see how much I spent on this. Let me find. So I actually haven't opened any of this. I wanted to really bad, but I did it so that you guys can kind of get my first hand reaction. Um, I... I think I spent like four hundred dollars. Um, doesn't actually say on here, which I thought it did. Um, but yeah, I think. And so it's mainly stuff. Um, I'm going to Texas this weekend, um, and then after that, going to China. And both places have a bit of warmer weather. So the things I got are mainly more for warmer weather. Um, but I think in most places it's starting to warm up, so I mean, I hope it's fitting for some of you guys. I know New York weather has kind of been crazy, um, but let's see. A lot of patterns I'm, I'm noticing now. Um, let's start off with these pants. Um, I'm always really hesitant to order pants online because... I am curvy and I feel like I really need to know how it's going to fit on my body. Um, so I'm very weary of these pants. I feel weary even as I'm holding them right now. So the verdict of these pants is I hate them. I do not like them. <laughs> they are fit. They're just not made for me. Not for curvy Noel. Um. The next thing that I'm going to do is these little, these cute little heart pajamas. I love buying pajamas. They're like a weakness of mine. I feel like, honestly, working from home is something I really spend a lot of time in. Um, and these are the brand Boohoo. Um, and it's these cute little, little pajama shorts. These are super cheap too, so um, I feel like they were kind of like a little, a little no-brainer thing to buy like these cute little cami and shorts they're actually really soft I'm sure they're not real silk but they feel really soft super cute I thought I would love them I do. they're really comfortable um, and not too tight um, a cute like flirty fit I'm a fan I'm gonna keep these and I hope I, hope I don't go through this too quickly um, I I personally hate when people like talk all the time about like a thing like it's pajamas like I don't need to linger on and on about it for forever um oh the next thing I really wanted to see what this looked like because I had meant to buy it for Hawaii and I forgot so um oh it looks kind of big oh no um this little skirt and matching top it's a little cord set oh the top's really cute too cute little top little off the shoulder top and then this skirt that I'm I'm worried it might be slightly too big but we will see feels really soft though. This was under like the beach stuff which made me weary that it was going to be like a weird see-through material. Um, but it's actually like a nice, a nice summery like light fabric but not too like see-through or anything. Um, okay so I realized the only thing with this is woo! <laughs> so normally with something like this I'd maybe go braless but it's a little risky. Um, and the skirt isn't as big as I thought it would be. There's definitely like room, but it's really comfortable. So I think that's the benefit there. 
Um, but yeah, very cute little little cord. And the next thing is, I know that it is by Mango, which normally, I feel like I didn't like Mango for a really long time, and lately I've really been liking their stuff. Um, but, um, it's this really cute pinafore. I hope that it fits cute. Pinafores can be kind of tricky because I do have a butt, um, and it makes it a little harder, but it's so cute and has these little stars. I think it's adorable. I'm very, this is like, this was maybe one of the more like pricier pieces. It still wasn't like that expensive, but, um, I tried to kind of stick to a low budget um, so I could get a few things and the denim is like really nice and feels very sturdy and thick which I like. So this fits a little weird but I'm really not sure what I think about it. Um, it's really fitted here but it's really bulky here. I like maybe if I shorten the straps in the back it would be better. Is it adjustable? Um, it doesn't, look like. it doesn't feel like it is. I feel like it's already on the shortest one. Like if it was like this, I think that I would like it more. Um, but yeah, a little, a little bit weird. I'm not sure. I think the detail is super cute, but I'm not sure. Um, this next thing is fancy for me. Um, I don't normally like really dressy dresses. But this one I thought was really pretty and it was new look so it really wasn't that expensive. Um, and I never have like nice dresses for when I need the occasion. Aaliyah's back there like, woo! Yes. <laughs> um, but oh my god, it's so cute. This is actually a lot cuter than I thought it would be. I didn't realize that like this part is actually see-through, which is nice, so kind of sexy. I'm feeling Silly. it. <laughs> um, so this dress is super cute. I'm like so impressed honestly. It fits really well um, and I really really love it. I'm definitely keeping this. I suggest if you need any nicer dresses to buy this because it's super cute. Next. Okay, so I I have a gingham problem, and most of you guys know that. Um, I've really been trying to like stop myself when I want to buy something gingham, which definitely means I have a problem. But I bought two gingham things, uh, even while trying to get myself to not buy any gingham. And this first thing, I hope I got this in the right size. I was worried because it was a baby doll dress that it, it looked like it ran a little bit big. Um, but let's see. Oh, it looks really well. I can't tell. I'll have to try it on. Um, but just this really cute, oversized, like picnic, picnic blanket dress, basically. Um, but I thought for going to Austin, it was really cute and a little bit country or western vibe. I guess not western, more like country. But um, I think that's really cute. And the fabric on that feels really good too. It's like kind of thin, but in a good way. Like, um, okay. So the picnic basket dress is very cute. Um, it is definitely like a tinty dress, um, which I really like. I know that's not for everyone. Um, I wish it had pockets, but it is super cute. I'm gonna keep it. So the other gingham thing. They were out of my size in the swimsuit bottom, so I got a smaller size, and hopefully I do not regret doing that. Um, it is by ASOS, and I feel like sometimes their swimsuit bottoms run kind of uh, big, so I thought that hopefully, hopefully these were, but these are the bottoms, um, and the top is really, really cute. It is... And the thing I like about ASOS swimsuits is a lot of them come in like a fuller bust size. So you actually can get like, I think the size I got was like the 34 D, double D, something like that. And, and I have another one and it actually does fit me really well. 
and holds me in if you know what I mean um but this is the really the top is like so so cute I'm really happy with this um and then the bottoms together again hopefully the bottoms work we shall see this swimsuit is really cute um the bust fits really well I, I wish I had a size bigger in the bottoms but like I said they were sold out um but I think I would still make it work Okay, and then there's only one last thing, which are shorts, and I'm really picky about shorts. I have such a hard time. Um, I think it's the same thing with the jeans, whereas like my legs can be a harder area um, to kind of know what size to expect, and these are by Misguided, which actually have a lot of Misguided shorts that I really love, but um, they have eyes. They're so cute. Um, but, oh, they look, they look really cute. They look like they'll fit good. Um, yeah, I just, I honestly, like, I have a lot of black shorts, and I probably didn't really need them anymore, but the eyes had me, and they weren't, they weren't super pricey. Um, I think they were, like, I want to say, like, $32, maybe, maybe $28. Um, and I thought they were really cute and would be cute for this weekend. Girl, those are cute. Um, so they're really tight. Um, I may, I don't know, I'm a weirdo with shorts, like I said, I may be able to size up. But I think that, um, they are really cute and have, like, a nice fitted look. I definitely keep these, and I think as it gets warmer and I get a tan, a tan, I won't feel self-conscious of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten things, um, and I think I spent like a little bit over 400. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this ASOS haul. Of course, as usual, I will link everything down below. Um, I tried to choose stuff that they still had good stock in, so I hope that you guys, if you like it, you get a chance to buy it. Um, and let me know also what other kind of videos you want to see. Um, I kind of like you guys helping me out and giving me ideas. It really motivates me to want to create more videos for you. Um, and please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.